Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Thursday, Thursday, October 10th, and the energies in the day adds up to the number 10, but the number one vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. So today's energy is like 10, 10, 10, 10 month, 10 day, and the energies in the day adds up to 10, but you know, when one when when the zero is next to it you know we just focus on the number one energy because the zero represents possibilities and today is a day that is filled with a lot of possibilities because of that zero energy but with the number one next to it what this could look like today is overthinking it like i get the vibes of today the vibes of today would remind me of a pissing contest um, because that number one energy is masculine, masculine, competitive, aggressive energy, and the zero next to it amplifies it. With the zero next to the number one, it brings me to the thought of how um, someone will have like alcohol strength, where it's like you drink, and then from drinking, you're you know a person's a lot more braver than they are than they normally would be. Um, without the alcohol, today's energy with all those, with the tens will bring me to that. Where it's like that masculine energy is amplified. It's like courage from out of nowhere, strength from out of nowhere, big ego energy is how I would um, look at all these tens. Also too, with all these tens, that energy is powerful in the sense of brainstorming coming up with ideas like say if you are in the presence of someone else that you can match minds with equally or even if like say like they're they're more of a bigger thinker than you or whatnot or either way to me with this energy i i see it good for like mental sparring matching minds where you're having a conversation with someone who could ride the waves you can ride and even if they could ride bigger waves than you for the simple fact that you're curious and you're open they can take you to higher levels or if it's the other way around and it's you you could take them to higher levels it, it, when it when it comes to this energy it brings me to the thought of iron sharpening iron but the benefit of just both people being uh surrendering i guess both people surrendering to this curious energy and not allowing ego to take over and from that great things can happen people could create great things with this energy if ego doesn't get in the way because if ego gets in the way then it's competitive vibe it's it's one big com competition everything's a competition the kind of energy where someone wants to make you wrong just because not because you're wrong but just because to for you to be right it would mean they're wrong when that that's not necessarily the case and when it comes to the spirit guidance we have the butterfly and the way the butterfly energy came out in the reversal position it brings me to like in the upright position when i think of the butterfly energy i think of transition energy i think of going from the caterpillar into the butterfly i think of elevating from one stage to another and with the butterfly spirit coming out in the reversal position it brings me i i, I keep thinking of trying to start a car like anybody here who's ever had an issue with their starter will know exactly what i'm talking about where you go to turn the key 
and you might hear er, and maybe it's not even the starter it's the battery where it's like there's not enough energy to turn the car over where with the starter when i had issues it would be like a tick tick but nothing happens but it's like a, a stagnant there's some there's a stagnant energy um when it comes to today with the butterfly in the reversal position and it brings me to the mind something about the way how we're perceiving um things or a thing creates like this limiting energy there's something limiting about today but it's mental when i look at the day um jupiter is the ruler of the day and jupiter is in gemini positively aspecting the sun and mercury in libra so that does bring a social aspect to the day but also scoring saturn and neptune in pisces and with the jupiter aspect for today it brings me to you know this need for connection being in the presence of others but at the same time um sir it's like there's something interfering with the vibe something interfering with the vibe in the sense that normally you normally you would be able to overlook certain things about your interaction your connection but something has been brought to your attention about your relationship about your connection about the way you are in the presence of others and it's almost like that's killing the high of the connection so it's like being aware and knowing is killing the vibe of a thing where it's like before when you didn't know it was easier to go along to get along but now that you do know it's harder to go along to get along the moon is in capricorn and the moon is a part of a t-square and the t-square is with the sun conjunct um mercury in libra and mars in cancer so the inner world the moon brings me to our ambitions our goals and our legacy and something about our inner world feels like our relationship with others and even our family at home is restricting us in some way when it comes to um, pursuing what is important to us when it comes to pursuing greatness it's it's a vibe as if they won't allow me to be great and when we say they it's almost like my my dedication to my family or my loyalty to my family or the need to make my mother happy or just um it might be women it might be something about women in our lives in our relationship to each other but there's something around relationships commitment the home the family or feminine interactions and something about that feels like it's suppressing or oppressing um, one's ability to go after their dreams and goals the way how i would see this is like today could be one of those days where conversation comes up and a person starts to talk about um the reasons why they're not able to perceive not perceive pursue certain things it's it's the person that says it's, it's the kind of vibe where someone would say if only my parents had done xyz I would have been able to achieve more if only my partner was supportive i would have been able to achieve more if my friends weren't so negative i would have been able to achieve more i feel like today those kind of conversations are coming up and it brings me back to the butterfly and the way how it came out where something about the mindset is keeping us um trapped today something about the way how we're choosing to see things is like choosing to see things in a way that stops us from um evolving to higher levels when it comes to the tarot we have the five of cups and in the upright position as you can see this person is stuck on what they've lost and overlooking um what is still available to them i like that it came out in the reversal position because coming out in the reversal position will bring me to the thought of someone being open to acknowledge the fact that it isn't over hoping um open to acknowledging the fact that you're not done like this little um detour situation 
was actually a lesson or an opportunity for you to be able to see more. This broken heart, this thing that broke your heart or disappoints you was really meant to open your eyes and get your attention. So with the five of cups in the reversal position, to me, the five of cups in the reversal position would tie in for me um, to Jupiter in retrograde energy. Because with Jupiter in retrograde, you know, we're gaining more information, more information than we had before when it comes to certain things. And with being aware and having more information along with being more self-aware, it's like we have no choice but to set ourselves free, get up and move forward. And for some, it might take longer than others. But when it comes to today's energy, it brings me to like this back and forth wobble of energy and back and forth wobble of energy where there's a part of us having a hard time um, looking past or letting go certain things. I think about the feeling of um, feeling like someone should pay, not necessarily that they should pay, but it's like this was done or this was their role in my life and there should be consequences for it. Um, or maybe not consciously, that's what um, someone's thinking when it comes to the conversations but in so many words it's like to say that it's their fault why i'm not where i could be or where i should be it's like saying that they committed a crime against you to a certain extent and it's natural you know for people to pay to right their wrongs but i for me like to give a person that power would mean that I would have to sit around and wait for them in order to transform my situation when it's just as simple as me choosing to tell myself a story about what has happened that empowers me. I think of how there's this saying, I think of this saying about how the creator or God gives the hardest battle to the strongest soldiers. I feel like choosing to see something in that way is a way of uplifting oneself where it's like, I'm choosing to see that this challenging thing that I've been through is because I was strong enough and not just because I was strong enough, but it's because I have an important role in this life. My role is so important that I needed to be able to experience this thing or the next in order to help the people that I am supposed to help because without having this experience, there's absolutely no way I could have related to these people. So, you know, being that I believe that the best teachers and healers come from a place of personal experience, it was a part of my journey to have this experience and not even just that without the experience, how would I have woken up to the truth or the power within me? So, you know, that's the way I feel of seeing things to take my power back. So it comes back to how we choose to see things in order to set ourselves free. And with the 10, 10, 10 energy and the big amplifying ego energy, it brings me to the thought of when it comes to taking our power back where that's concerned, it brings me to reflection and recognizing the need to prove a point. Um, I think of the competitive aspect of the number one energy and with the zero next to it, it's amplified. And with Jupiter ruling over the day, that competitive energy is amplified. And it's like, why do I need to compete? Why do I need to prove myself in this situation? Like, how does it benefit me to prove myself? And for me to feel the need to prove myself in this situation, it means that deep down I'm not good enough and engaging in this competitive thing is almost a way of validating this belief that I have about myself that I'm not good enough. Because a lot of the times we'll say, oh, this person think that they're better than others. No, we think that person is better than others or better in some way why we even look at them and say that. Because if we feel complete within ourselves, a person will be who they are, act how they act, and it, you don't even notice. You don't even notice because you don't feel inferior to that person. So whenever we find ourselves, you know, saying this person think they're better, it's like that's to me, for me, that's an opportunity for me to look into myself and question why I don't feel like I'm good enough, why in my eyes I'm seeing 
I'm elevating that person above me. And when it comes to today's energy, a lot can come up where, you know, some of us feel a bit overwhelmed or intimidated in the presence of others who we perceive to have more authority than us. And the authority they have is the authority you give them based on the stories you choose to tell yourself about them and the way you choose to see them. Where for me, I feel like I struggle with authority since I was a kid because in my mind, it's like we're equal. In my mind, we're equal. I remember as a kid, I would get in trouble for asking questions like, you know, why do I have to wash dishes and you don't? Because in my mind, it's like, I can't, it's like the authority in me sees us as equal. And I guess it's the stories that I've been telling myself or the way that I've always seen the world as a kid growing up, which got me in a lot of trouble. But you know, in our adult life, you know, whenever we feel inferior to someone, it's because a story we're telling ourselves and from that story, we are inflating them so big and it's making us feel so small. And the only way to change that is to recognize those stories and start telling ones that empower you, ones that uplift you. And for me, I feel like there never needs to be a story where I'm bigger or I'm better. For me, it's a story of we're all just people we are all just trying to figure it out we all have for the most part have no clue of who we are where we are where we're from and where we're going next that's a, that's something that you know some of us who dive into the spiritual path uh is always you know looking at under a micro microscope trying to understand and for me, for that simple fact, it's like no one is an authority over nothing because as far as I'm concerned, everybody is in the same room looking at certain things within the room from a different angle, creating a different perspective. And some might seem more confident than others as they speak about what it is that they're experiencing. And it might make it seem like they know the way and they have the answers, but we're all in the same room just reacting to the room a little bit different and it's a matter you know it comes down to the stories that we tell ourselves about ourselves and how we see ourselves in the world hey guys i want to share with you seven benefits of getting a numerology natal chart awareness coaching session the first one is understanding your internal programming the second one is becoming more clear about your purpose and passion the third is setting goals for success the fourth is awareness of strength and areas of improvement and the fourth one was foundational for me because whenever you're aware of your weaknesses no one can use them against you and when you're aware of your strengths that makes you unstoppable and that is why i say self-awareness is a superpower the fifth benefit is removing obstacles. We first have to become aware of a thing in order to remove it in the first place. The sixth benefit is understanding relationship dynamics. We don't have to change the people in our lives. We have to become aware of ourselves and start from there and everything changes. And the seventh benefit is upcoming transits. If that's something that you would like to look into because you're planning for something or you just want to be aware so if you're interested in booking a numerology natal chart awareness coaching session or learning more about it the link to book or the link to send me an email for questions are both within the description box below if you'd like to check out my patreon where i share exclusive content the link to check out what's happening on Patreon is in the description box below. It is always such a pleasure sharing these messages with you. Before you go anywhere, please let me know you're here with me by dropping me a red heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.